talking about cyber war is exactly the wrong thing to do because we talk about cyber, you pull everything up to a high level of abstraction. And then you say, cyber war, we need one solution. There is no one solution. They're very different problems. They're very granular and sometimes really boring. But there is a solution. Um, but it has not, nothing to do with cyber war. Uh, Leon Panetta, the former U.S. Secretary of Defense, wanted to raise the pressure for Congress to pass a specific law. Sometimes when industry leaders make alarmist statements, they may have a product to sell to deal with this um, problem. No, so it's always important to look at who says what and do they have an interest in saying it. It's either sabotage, damaging things, espionage, stealing information, or subversion, hacktivism, and of course crime, but it's not a war. Stuxnet, the famous uh, allegedly American-Israeli attack against Iran's nuclear enrichment program in Natanz, um, was a very sophisticated sabotage operation against the uh, enrichment program, against the centrifuges in, in Natanz. It's noteworthy because it was non-violent in the sense that nobody was actually killed. It was, yes, it, 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 it damaged physical machines, but the alternative would have been possibly to bomb um, the nuclear installation, or the, the enrichment plant, which would have been far more devastating and violent. So in a way, it's an interesting example because it is contrary to what we assume when we talk about cyber war, it was actually less violent than uh, a military strike would have been. I think there's not just one threat, there are many different threats. And again, if we look at sabotage, the threat is very different from uh, espionage. So for instance, a country like China, or rather to be more specific, companies and possibly agencies within China have no interest today to damage anything physically but they have a significant interest in stealing commercially useful information. So the threat incentive or the incentive for different actors is very different depending on what we're looking at. So China is not in a position to do the same, uh, to play in the same league as the United States are today. Of course they would like to be in that position, but uh, that has to be very clearly put into perspective. What we're looking at today is a situation where American companies in Germany are confronted with a serious amount of distrust in a way that's perhaps comparable with Chinese companies going to the United States. Uh, recently I had a conversation with a German member of parliament who told me, confidentially so I won't name him, that he thinks, he's convinced that the NSA is engaged in commercial espionage against German companies. This is not the case. This is wrong, right? But th he was convinced this is the case. He doesn't have access to any classified uh, information. Now, this is a stunning statement of distrust. Obama is not coming out to explain these programs. Cameron in the UK is not coming out to explain these programs. Instead, the intelligence chiefs, the heads of the intelligence agencies, are fighting, are trying to explain what they're doing on their own, but these are not political operators, these are security operators. So I think the political level is not taking the responsibility it should take in this moment, and that's quite shameful, I think. Several countries, including Germany, as well as France, are now seeing an impulse to go national, to, for instance, do some, something like Schengen routing to keep internet traffic within Germany, within Germany's borders, to keep the NSA out. So basically what we're looking at are suggestions that are meant well, but de facto balkanize the internet. That's at least the threat, the possible problem. And I don't think this is a potential way forward, because the fact is, if you are, want to be safe from cybercrime, for instance, 
you, you are, as a customer, as a normal citizen, as a user, you want the best internet products out there. Many of those top products are American. Just because they're American, does that mean you can't trust them anymore? Fact is, the NSA is not interested in your money, they're not even interested in your emails. But uh, this debate today is not properly distinguishing. It's, it's a different set of problems that we are encountering, and there's no military solution to this problem. In fact, the solution is in the private sector, it's individual responsibility, it's in the home offices and interior ministries and the intelligence community, not in the military.